What's up, y'all? It's your boy C.S. Mario here. Just want to touch base with you guys. Happy New Year. Um, so something came to me in the spirit and was told to me to go talk to you guys or the people about prayer language. Okay? Prayer language and how to pray. Um, for some reason or another, God is revealing to me that people aren't praying in the correct manner. Thing when you're praying, uh, word choice is important because what in the beginning what was the what the word was it not right? But those are my Bible scholars on here who follow the Bible. So in the beginning was the word. That's all it was. Okay. Um, so if in the beginning was the word, God is very specific and and, and um, very specific and detailed about our word choice in prayer. Okay. Uh, for instance, um, you know people pray about um, against witchcraft, witchcraft and divination. Um, but they go to a church where a pastor operates in the gift of prophecy. <laughs> I see this for you in the future. I see by this time next year, this come around, you don't, you don't have a house, you don't have a car, you're going to have everything you need. I see healing for you and your, your sister next year. You're going to be walking and these things actually happen, right? That's divination. Just because he doesn't have tarot cards in his hand or crystal ball, <laughs> um, that, you know, just be, just be smart and awoke about things. So when you're praying against witchcraft and divination, witchcraft, yes. Understanding what witchcraft is, it's, it's simple. Divination, that's not witchcraft. Okay? Divination, divine, and some of us need to learn etymology, meaning the way words are constructed. How to look at a word, D-I-V-I-N, <laughs> I'm not going to spend too much time on this, and see divine in divination. Why would that be evil? But you're praying against divination. So, um, and, but you go to a church where the pastor operates in divination, right? Okay. And then, so no, no judgment. And I'm not trying to be uh, <laughs> rude or mean to anybody. But so with that example being the case, God said, speak to the people about really being specific about the word choice. So if you're praying for a man or a woman, a husband, a wife, a new job, a new car, a new house, God operates on your needs, not your wants. Wants fade away. Want, you can want this today and not want that tomorrow. The things you want, you may not want anymore. Pray based on your need. God, I need air. I need oxygen. I need sustenance. I need resources. I need a helpmate, a soulmate. I need to be successful. I need to not give up. I need to forgive. That's a big one. Help me to forgive. Help me to create a, create a clean space within myself. Cleanse me up, God, whatever's going on with me. Try yourself first so that you can be better able to operate and see other person in a lot of us aren't even using or uh, asking God for cleansing um, when we're praying. So just something to think about. Um, God is saying people need healing. You have to be able to come. You can't be carrying a whole bunch of stuff. You don't walk into the grocery store or Home Depot or Walmart carrying shit in your hand other than your belongings or wallet, right? We're trying to ask God for most stuff, but you got all this stuff with you. God is like, I'm not going to put more on you than you can bear. Why would I give you something that, hell, you, you already carrying a lot of stuff, Look. Get rid of that stuff first. Ask me to help you get rid of that stuff and cleanse your heart first. You're pure now. You can seek other light, uh, guided individuals. Pray for someone who has God at the forefront of their lives first. Someone who's spiritually connected as you are. Someone who worships you as much and loves you as much as I do. That's the language God needs to hear. If I can help you guys out for those asking, well, what do you mean, some, uh, see your scenario? That kind of prayer language. You want somebody godly, and we're missing that point. If you can't find nobody you can pray with, at this point in the juncture of where we are going with God in these next few days and years as we move forward in spirituality, I feel for you. You're going to always find somebody who's abusive, verbally abusive, uh, drinking, got addictions, aren't healed, carrying, you know, trauma from past, you know, you know, deaths, having grieved their mom or dad passing. That's real heavy. You have to grieve that shit. I'm sorry, excuse my language. For those who are still dealing with that, got, you know, mommy and daddy issues, they need healing. You're operating hanging with these people and or attracting these people maybe because you have these same issues you haven't dealt with you attract what you what you are you attract what you are why well, keep seeing the same person over and over again some inside of you that you haven't dealt with god is trying to show you i'm sending these people to show you what's in you <laughs> okay you have to ask god to help you with that first and i'm saying everybody will track is like that but if you're um having issues in a relationship, you have to ask God, what's in me? Heal me, God. Allow me to forgive. A lot of the issues, God's saying 99% of the stuff when people hear this, see your scenario, God told me this. If y'all trust me in my gift, help tell them they need to work on asking God to cleanse them, heal them. He said, I would do it quick, immediately. Suddenly. Next day you wake up. The process would be in. Some of you guys will take a little longer, 
but you have to start operating in faith and let that be a constant prayer until you start noticing the peak, you know, things changing for you around you, more harmonious, more peaceful. Okay. Psalms 35 every day. I read that every day. I will give y'all that little one. That's free. I just charge for that. Psalm 35 every day. Read it. It will change your life. You'll see a change literally in 30 days. For those of you dealing with issues of feeling like worn down, why everything, one thing after another, you know, why I keep, you know, as I keep, you know, I keep arguing, people are lending money to people, they're not paying me back. You know, I'm tired of people depending on me for Psalm 35. <laughs> But you got to do it every day, every day, every day. Set an alarm, put shit in your phone, every day. So, so we got to be consistent and disciplined in too as well, right? That's all I'm going to say, you guys. I love you guys. Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.